Good. I've heard all you said and I understand how you're feeling, but it's not your fault. You couldn't have known what Collins was truly capable of. I should have listened to my dad. He always knows what's best for me. Love has his way of clouding our judgment. We're just trying to follow your heart. But look where he got us. My dad's in a wheelchair now because of me. Good. Accidents happen and sometimes people get hurt. But it's not your fault. Collins is the one who deceived you and caused all this. I just can't shake this feeling of responsibility. I wish I had listened to my dad. Do you know how this feels for me? I know it's hard. But beating yourself up over it won't change what happened. What's important now is that your dad knows you are here for him. And you can support each other through this difficult time. Your dad needs you. I just feel so lost and helpless. I feel angry as well. So angry. Do you know that he lied to my face? Like I saw the gun, the hidden calls. But I ignored it all. Hey. Oh God, how do I go and face my dad? Good. Do you know what's most important to your dad? Is him seeing you by his side, seeing you fine and healthy. You have no idea what he went through, why you were missing. All he needs is you by his side as his daughter. He doesn't care about your mistakes. Plus, he can still walk again. He can still walk? There is an opportunity there, but phones are needed. I'll find the money, I'll get it. Okay, but for now, all your dad needs is you by his side. Oh my goodness, Mark, look at this one. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow, Aluya, you look like a princess in that gown. It's perfect. I can even imagine you wearing it right now. Do you really think so? I have always dreamed of wearing something like this on my wedding day. Really? Why don't you go and try the gown then? Let's see how it would look on you. Okay. Where is the assistant? Where is she? I don't know. Look at this other gown, baby. I think you should try all the gowns here. <laughs> you are kidding, I know. I am not. I'm serious, baby. Okay, baby. I'll find my perfect wedding gown here. Hopefully you will. And if you don't, we we'll go to another store. Or I could easily order one from abroad. Close to my place now. I still remember your house. You didn't. Stop lying. You didn't want to admit you've forgotten the way to get here. I haven't. Believe me. That's your house, right? Yeah. Home. You're home. Thank you for bringing me home. You're welcome. I've been meaning to ask you, do you have a crush on my friend? How do you know? It was kind of obvious to me, like I could easily tell. Do you think she knows as well? She didn't notice. With everything going on now, she was distracted. Yeah. Oh, is she the person you were telling me about? Yeah, she's the person. Wow, you're in love with my best friend. You can't tell her that. My mouth is sealed, but you know you two would be a great team. You think so? I know so. I'm happy for you two. Don't start getting happy. There's nothing between us at the moment. Plus, she might not accept me with all that's going on in her life. You're kind of right. That's true. But I do stand a chance. Yeah, you do, but I think she would date you because of her dad, not because she loves you. No, I don't want that type of relationship. Bro, is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Are you sure about that? I'm surprised to see you here today. I can come and see you every day, right? Yeah, sure, but it's not like you to do that. I know. Is he Collins? Collins? Of course not. Why did you mention his name? Because he was angry when he came here to talk about good. Whatever. Brother, don't do this. If he finds out that... He won't find out, because I'm leaving town. He finally decided to leave. Yeah. I want to go and use my money to start something meaningful with my life. I'm so happy to hear this. I'm sorry you're here. I'm sorry about what I've caused to you. Stop apologizing. I'm happy you're leaving, Trey. I wish you can see how I feel in my inside. You see a happy woman. Are you going to be fine without me? Yes, I'll be very fine, Trey. More relaxed and fine. Baby, I enjoyed myself so much. Me too, darling. I did. I know my mom and dad would definitely love you. Just like men were accepting of you. Yeah, you have lovely parents and I'm making a promise to you that I'm going to buy them a new house. What? Yeah, my in-laws deserve a new house and also a car. You don't have to do all that. I know, but that is what I want to do for their love and for also raising a responsible man like you, baby. They deserve that and more. I don't see this as necessary. 
I know, but this is what I want to do, so allow me, okay? My darling. No! 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 Good. Baby, relax, okay? Collins. Yes, baby, I'm the one. What are you doing here, Collins? I came to see you. I've been calling you non-stop. What are you doing here? How did you? Good, we need to talk, please. You broke into my house. I am calling the police on you. You won't do that, good. Don't dare me. Detective Elliot wants me to give him a report. Then why haven't you? Cause? That's because you love me. I don't have time for this. Get out now. I'm sorry about all that I've caused. Stop apologizing already. I told you all this isn't an issue, didn't I? Yeah, but I wish I didn't put you in the middle. I'm fine here, don't worry about me. You know we can live together, right? We've been over this a thousand times, Troy. I'm not going with you, okay? I wish you'd change your mind. I've already been paid some money. I can't turn my back on him. These are people who won't waste time to turn their back on you. Trey, I'm not going to do that, okay? Okay. I love you, bro. I love you too, and I'll miss you. You've got to call me every day, promise me. I'll do that. I'll call you every day. Good, and good luck. Thank you. I promise to also be here on the day of your release. Please drop the phone. Leave now. Give me five minutes, please. I don't want to hear any other thing you've got to say. Just leave. You have every right to be angry. I lied to you. You've ruined my dad's life, Collins. I can pay for the surgery. Do I look like I want anything from you? Think about this as me trying to say I'm sorry and trying to fix things. You can't fix things, Collins. No matter how you try to. I can. I'll pay for the surgery. I don't want anything of yours. Just go away from me, please. I need to redeem myself. To show you that I'm not a bad man. You're not a bad man? Drug? A killer? I've never had to pull the trigger. I've never done that. I don't care, Collins. Just leave now. How do I get you to believe me, God? How can I redeem myself? You can't. Tell me what to do. I just need you to go far away from me and my dad. Please stay away from us. I beg of you. I love you. I thought you did. I'm not lying to you. I swear it. I love you. If you love me, you stay away from me. Can I ask you a question? Did the person who kidnapped you tell you his name? No, he didn't. But guess why he took me? Because I'm your lover. Good. Do you know what I went through in his hands? I will get him. Please, get him. And when you do, make sure you kill him for what he has done for me. Consider it done. Get out of my room, Collins. I will scream now. Good. Hey, baby girl. Bright to be. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine, and you? I'm good. I saw your post online. I'm so happy. Good is back home. Yeah, she's back home now. And how is her father? He's much better now. He's fine. I ought to come and see the one of these days. I sent her your regards already and she understands you're busy with the wedding. Yeah, that is why. How is Mark doing? Oh, he's doing fine. I just said to say hello to you and tell you how welcome his parents to you are like. So, so nice. Wow, that's nice. Who wants to see me? Hello, Erica. It's been a while since we last chatted. You are the one who wants to see me. Officer, please take me back to my cell. He won't answer you. Officer! He won't answer you. Just sit down. Anything you've got to say, I'm totally uninterested. And I don't have any answer for you. The street is flooded with drugs. Not my business. You are part of the reasons why the street is flooded. Because you are refusing to testify. Detective? Everyone is keeping Collins and others hidden. They are too scared to talk or they are selfish. Like you, for instance, you are selfish, acting in your own interest. Are you done? I don't know how much they want to pay you, but I promise you, my eyes will be on you once you are released, eventually. And I will make sure I bring you back here for your crimes. Are you done? Erica, we can help each other. I'm having a headache already, Elliot. Please, can I go back to my room? I had the treaty like royalty in here, and that's why I'm asking that they transfer you to another prison. What? You're kidding, right? I'm not. In this prison, you won't be able to bribe your way. Officer, please, get her to the car. You, you, you can't do this, Elliot. I can do and undo. Can I go inside to take something? Like what? What? Police.
Tree going somewhere. Yeah, what do you want, man? I need us to talk, Tree. I don't have time. I need to step out now. Give me two minutes, okay? Fine. I'm listening to you. Did you kidnap her? What? I already told you I know nothing about this, Collins. And I mean it. I know nothing. I want to believe you. But I think you are the one who kidnapped her. Collins. You did it to show me that you were angry at what happened to your sister. But you forgot that I paid your sister. Collins, I need to leave now. You don't mess with my loved ones, Trey. Uh, Collins. Uh. Alia, from the moment I met you, I knew you were the one I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Today I stand before you, promising to never leave your side, to be your husband in all situations of life. Mark, you are my rock, my best friend. I promise to cherish and support you for all the days of my life. You are my everything, Alia. With this ring, I pledge my love to you for eternity. And with this ring, I promise to be your partner, your confidant, and your equals in all things. I love you, Mark, now and forever. I am better, Zara. You've not been coming to school. I don't think I can come to school for now. Come on, Gold. See, you can still come and meet up with everything. The lecturers knows what happened to you. I'm not ready for that. Who do I leave my dad with? You will get a house assistant. I'm not sure about that, Zara. Yes, you are sure about it. You can't lock yourself away from the world. I'll think about it. Nothing to think about. Did he come to see you already? Who? You know who I'm referring to. No, he didn't. Why would he do that? Okay. If I see him, I'll kill him. You should talk to Elliot rather than kill him. I'm not sure I want to do that as well. You're covering up for him. I have nightmares every night about what happened. I'm sorry. Yeah, so I'm not ready to talk to anyone about it. But you can talk to me. Finish the whole story. Not a story. Life experience. Yeah, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. Daddy. Zara, it's good to see you. Good morning, sir. Hopefully we will both convince good to go to school and stop babysitting me at home. The police are all over the place. I can see that. I just hope he's not dead. I think he's actually dead. They're not sure of that. They won't let anyone come close to the house. The neighbor I called said he wasn't shot. I just hope he's not to death. This is a bad man. Tell me about it. Do you think he did it? I think so, but I'm not sure. Damn it. I need to go and get some information. I'll be back, Bobby. Oh, God. Three. Zara, please tell your friend to resume back to school so she can graduate with you. I've told her, but she's not listening to me. But what if something happens while I'm away? I can't bear the thought of leaving that alone. Good, listen to me. I want you to pursue your dreams and graduate. Don't let my condition hold you back. I will be fine. Your dad is right, Gold. Come on, we've missed you in school. I can't. I just feel so guilty about all of this. If I'd listened to dad earlier, none of this would have happened. It's not your fault, Gold. You couldn't have known what would happen. Collins is the one to be blamed here. Exactly, Sarah. See, you have worked so hard in the past to get here good. Please, go back to school. I'll be fine, okay? I'll be okay. Okay, I'll go back to school. But I'll still come home right after class. So don't expect me to be hanging around, Zara. That's fine with me, no problem. You can still hang around for some minutes. No, I'm not. Once I'm done with classes, I'm heading home. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Dad. Now let's go and catch up on everything. You ladies, you have the living room. I'm going to my room. Dad, watch your favorite channel. You won't disturb us anyway. No, you ladies will enjoy your privacy. Let's go to the room instead, Gold. While your dad stays here to watch the television. I'll be fine, Gold. Bobby, you won't believe what I found out. What did you get? It's... it's terrible. There was a shootout, man. Sure is dead. What? He's dead? I have a strong feeling it's Collins. Got to be him. Damn it! Shit! I knew this was coming and Trey was planning to leave town. Yeah, I know. Erika, oh god. We can't tell Erika. Why not? She has the right to know about her brother's death. I know, but Erika is already going through so much in prison. Imagine how she did react to this news. You are right. I would break her to hear this. But how do you keep something like this from her? I can't believe Collins would do this. Neither can I, man. Collins. A dangerous man to be careful of his callings. Who is there? Mr. Isaac, it's Elliot. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Elliot, come in. It's good to see you. 
Thank you, sir. How is your body? I'm fine. And you? How is work? Stressful as always. We got some shootout today. Another person? Trey. What? Yes, he's dead. Killed in his own house. Oh my god, this is bad news, Elliot. Yeah, I know. But I thought it would happen. Because of his company of friends, right? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Isaac. I wanted to talk to Good. Is she around? She and Sarah just step out now. She will relax on. She finally stepped out. Took a lot of position to make her go out. This might be the break we need to win this case. But she hasn't been cooperative. And I believe she may have valuable information. I know, Elliot. Hopefully. But Good seems reluctant to talk about what happened. But I believe she's the key to this case. I will talk to her about it when she gets home. But are you sure she will be willing to testify against Collins? I will be gentle, sir. I promise you. And I won't rush on anything or she agrees to talk. I will do my best to convince her. But please, Elliot, be gentle with her. She's been through so much already. Baby, who are you calling? Oh, you're up already, my love. Yes, baby, I'm up. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. Who is calling you by this time? Didn't we say no calls this honeymoon? I'm sorry, my love. See, I've put off my phone. Whoever wants to talk to you should wait until after we are done with our honeymoon. Sounds like a plan already. No more calls and come to bed. Yes, ma'am. I should head back home, Zara. Your dad will be fine. I don't feel okay leaving him all alone. You know he may need my help with something. I understand. You should head back. Thank you. Have you heard from Dr. Jordan? No. What about him? The surgery that can put your dad back on his feet. That's true. You should talk to him about it. My parents are also willing to support. Oh my, are you for real? Yeah, I am. So let me know. Thank you, Zara. You're a good friend indeed. You're welcome. You should head home to your dad now. Thank you, Zara. And I'm coming over to take you to school tomorrow. I'll resume next week. No, tomorrow. Don't tell me you're the one who drank all this. I'm the one. I couldn't steal you some more beer. No, no. Who's wrong, man? What happened? One of the worst things that could have happened. She didn't accept you. Not about a man. What then? Did you lose your job or what? It's about Erika's brother, Trey. What about him? Is everything okay? No, Jordan. Trey. Trey being killed. What? Yeah, he has been killed, man. Oh my god, this is a really sad news. What happened, man? How did it happen? He shoot out in his house. Is he the one they are talking about on the news? Maybe. He's got to be the one. Where does he live? The obscene new line. He's the one. The news is all over. I can't believe he's gone. I need more beer. Can you please slow down with the beer, please? How can I tell Erika her brother is dead? Where is he? He's inside that room. Bring him out, Collins. Let's go inside and see him. What if I lose him and he tries to run away? I don't think he'll do that. Come with me. Oh my god, is he dead? No, he's still alive. This... this is the man who kidnapped me? Yes, good, he's the one. Here is a gunshot at him. I'm not a murderer like you, Collins. He looks like he's dead. He's not dead. He looks dead. Why did you kill him? I... I didn't know you wanted him alive. I didn't even know you'd come to see him. You're really a murderer, Collins. I... I did this for you. You told me to make sure he pays. I didn't say you should kill him. I didn't say that, Collins. I'm sorry. You're a monster. I can't believe all along I let myself believe I was dating a man when I was dealing with the devil himself. Good, I love you. No, you don't love me. 